better health for everybody, every day. Transforming lives, three minutes at a time. Listen up. This is your daily health tip from The Good Company. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to today's health tip. It's Melissa Hawk-Lepaki. Thanks for joining me, taking your wellness seriously today. I want to talk today about mindset and motivation. I recently was listening to some people speak and felt inspired to share some of the things that I learned with you. One of the biggest things I learned that no one is coming to rescue you, right? It's on you. So today is the day we start. Let's pick one thing and make a change. I suggest you pick the thing that makes you the unhappiest. And it's going to take a few minutes of self-reflection to understand for yourself what is it that's making you unhappy in your life. And even if we are happy people in general, I'm sure we can all think about something that makes us unhappy. Something maybe that's a repeated behavior that we do. Maybe it's something when we look in the mirror that we're unhappy about. And if you feel that maybe that was you, um, ask yourself, is that really what's making me unhappy? Or maybe it's something in your relationship, or maybe it's situational. Maybe there's something that you're currently doing that's not making you happy and you continue to try to do it and you're continually unhappy. And maybe what you need is a shift in that behavior. Whatever it might be, today's the day to start. And we're not looking to make quick fixes, rather simple changes and better choices, right? That's what I always say. Let it not be overwhelming. Perhaps you need one fix to get the job done, or perhaps it's something that needs to be worked on daily, right? Only you can decide that. But today it's your job to take five minutes to figure that out. I know you already know what the answer is, so you shouldn't even need the whole five minutes. And then you're going to do two things. One, you're going to write it down on a brand new clean pad of paper or notebook. That will serve as your goal journal, and we're going to talk about the purpose of that next week. And the second thing you're going to do is you're going to call your best friend in the whole world and you're going to tell them what you're working on. We all need accountability partners. So ask this friend to help you stay on track. And let me give you an example. I really feel unhappy about my weight. This is an example. And I'd really like to lose some fat and gain some muscle before my next trip in six weeks, right? If that's what I came up with as my goal and the reasoning behind it, First thing I'm gonna do is grab a notebook and on that first page, I'm gonna write that sentence. I really feel unhappy about my weight and I'd like to start, or I'd like to lose some fat and gain some muscle before my next trip in six weeks. Next thing I'm gonna do is call my best friend and tell her that I've decided to make some changes and that I would love her support and her check-ins. So for the sake of time, the next episode will include both how I use that journal, that goal journal, and what that conversation with my friend exactly would look like. But your job this week is to uncover what's making you unhappy and to get excited about changing it. All right, I'll leave it at that. We'll talk next week.